guys, what's up? It's Marissa, and today is a very exciting video that has been highly requested, and it is my everyday makeup routine, but it's not technically my everyday, it's like my going out makeup routine because it's a little more makeup than I normally wear. My hand motions are like crazy right now, I don't know what's up with me. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys do, don't forget to subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. It really does mean the absolute world. I show you guys how to catfish the fuck out of your face, and if you guys haven't followed me on all my social media links down below, please follow me. You can follow me on my everyday basis. We can be better best friends and just live life together. I'm talking like a mile a minute because my camera's about to die and I don't want to make this video any longer than it already is. So I hope you guys enjoy and without further ado, let's get on to the video in three, two, one. Let's welcome to How to Catfish Like a Pro. Okay, so as you can tell, I already have my mascara on because that takes forever to do because like I'm a perfectionist and like my eyelashes are like the main part of my face. So I just skipped that part, but I'm going to have a how to get long eyelashes and how to make them long and fluttery and flirty like this. So if you guys want to see that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel because that will be up very soon. So first what I do is I get these little like clippies. I think you get them from like a dollar at um, the beauty supply store. And I clip my hair back because like no one wants foundation in their fucking hair because like gross. So there we go. Now that I look like I'm 12 years old, ready to begin. So I prime my face with the Professional, and that's always the first thing I do. Literally, I have not found a better primer than this. This will make all your nasty, gross-ass pores, which I have a lot of them, go the fuck away. So that's what we want. So we're just going to put way too much of this on. <laughs> I literally go through these tubes in like a week. It's disgusting. I should buy the bigger ones, but like I don't, so yeah. Usually I don't wear eyeshadow, but... It's a bitch's 21st birthday. Um, two days ago, so I'm going out tonight, so I'm gonna do eyeshadow and go, like, the fuck out. Okay, pause before I even start this. I do my makeup so fucking backwards, so, like, Manny MUA and Patrick Star is gonna come at me for this, but, um, I don't know, it's what works for me. I always start with, like, this random-ass palette that I got for, like, five dollars at a random beauty store, but it's so good. It has all of these, like, beigey, like, orangey, um, rustic-looking shadows, which I love for transition shades. Look at me, girl. Oh, I know my terms. I just take, like, this angled brush like this, and I literally <laughs> just dip it into, like, whatever eyeshadow I'm feeling that day. So... And mind you, my eyeshadow always looks fucked up until the end because, like, I cannot do eyeshadow. So keep that in mind that it will start looking better as the process continues. So then I take a pencil brush. That's what it's called, I think. It's just, like, a pointed one. And this other, like, $5 random-ass palette. It's, like, I don't know what it's called. It's by Beauty Treats. And it is amazing. You guys have to get these. They're, like, literally so cheap. And they're amazing. So I just dip it into, like, this brown color and put it a little bit on my crease. Okay, now I'm going to go into the Naked Basics palette, but literally any palette will do. I'm just going to take the black. I like this black because it's like super, super black and no like shine and I like matte looks because I'm not trying to look oilier than I am. I take that same brush, wipe that shit off a little, and dip it into the black. And you have to be so easy with this black because it's so pigmented and sometimes I get a little wild and that's not the look I'm going for. So, easy hand. I always darken it up once I have like my liner and my face makeup on. This is kind of just like a sketch for me to go by. So one eye always turns out better than the other and it's always this eye. And this eyebrow always turns out better than the other. So like, yeah, I have a symmetrical face. My life. So next we're going to do our foundation and I know I do everything backwards. You don't need to tell me. I don't even know why I do it. I feel like I can just gauge my face more like with, I don't know. This foundation I just got and I am completely, completely, completely obsessed with it. I used to use the Marc Jacobs Remarkable which everyone fucking raves about but it made my face so dry and I don't even have dry skin. So it was just, I'm not a fan of it, but I do like how long it lasted. I was in the same market for the same realm of product, just not one that dried the fuck out of my face. And I found the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I'm such a beauty guru. And it is so, so, so nice. It doesn't feel like you have a lot of makeup on at all. It was just my 21st birthday, like I mentioned, so it was like the ultimate test of this foundation. I had it on for a good 16 hours and it looked like I just applied it. So if you guys are in the market for a foundation, this one is it. So I do this with a beauty blender that I most oftentimes don't wet because I'm a lazy ass. But this time I did, so it's damp. So a little goes a long way with this product, but I always put way too much, so yeah. 
bad thing about this is there's no pump or no like applicator for it which kind of sucks but it is an amazing foundation so so dip that in and just plop it on all of my gross spots all over my face So when I should stop, I always put more. <laughs> and then I go in with my concealer and I use the Fit Me by Maybelline and it is so good and so cheap and it doesn't get that, like those smudges under your eyes that you get when you wear mascara and concealer. So this is really good. And I'm in the color 25 medium. I'm ready. I just take my beauty blender once again and pat all of that in. Get rid of all of those disgusting ass bags that I have on my eye because like I don't ever sleep. Okay, so then I take this L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder, but it's pretty good. It's just what I got, so I gotta work with what I got right now. And I'm using this like, I don't know what this is, just like an angle brush. And I just pat that in my face. Then I take, oh my god, this is my holy grail product. It makes your makeup last forever. And I'm taking the Lock It by Kat Von D spray mix, whatever it is. And it's like, girl, get this. After you spray your face way too many times than need be, go ahead and fan yourself off. Okay, next I'm going to go in with the Naked 2 palette. Um, I never use this except for this one shade. It's this one right here, as you can tell. It's called Chopper, and it is, whoo, pretty. So I take a little, like, flat shader brush, tap that in, and I spray it with the um, spray just to kind of give it a more, like, electric feel. I'm just going to put it on my lid. So now that we're all sparkly, I'm going to go in with the scariest part of the day, which is the eyeliner, because I always fuck up my eyeshadow with this, so finger crossed that I don't do that today, but I probably will. And this one's my favorite eyeliner that I have ever tried, and it is the Stila Stay All Day Liquid Eyeliner. I can't talk. It's really, really good. I've used it for like seven years now, and I have yet to find one better, so... Okay, after like eight hours, I think that this is the best it's gonna get, so we're gonna leave it there. So I'm gonna take that brush and go in with that like orange rustic shade, whatever's left on it, and just kind of blend. And then I'm gonna go back in with the black and just kind of darken it up to like how I want now that I have my face makeup on. I can kind of see like how dark my face is gonna be and whatnot. Also, if like anyone does their makeup similar to me, like we should be friends. <laughs> like because this is so weird, I know. I'm going to take my black eyeliner and go under my waterline. And then I will take that pencil brush and go under it with the black. Okay, now we're going to go in with this other cheap-ass palette. <laughs> this is from LA Colors, which is kind of like of a more popular brand. And I take this bronze shade right here. And I take this e.l.f. brush. E.l.f. brushes are so cheap and they're so good. Like, you guys gotta get on the e.l.f. train. And I just bronze my face. Oh, I love bronzer. So now that I'm bronzed and tan, we're gonna do some blush. I'm gonna go back in this palette and just dip in, like, the same shades that I did for my eyeshadow. Okay, now we're gonna do highlight. Becca Opal, always. I used to do it with a bigger brush and it just was too much highlight, so... Just a little eyeshadow brush I use. Sorry guys, my camera died. Pro YouTuber. Anyway, so with this little eyeshadow brush, um, Becca Opal, it's so amazing. Put it right on my cheekbones. Then I go back in with this LA Colors palette and I take the yellow white shade, kind of mix them together with like this flat paddle brush that I have. And I just run that underneath my eyes to make them look brighter. And last but not least, I do my eyebrows. I do them last. I know it's weird. I use the NYX Micro Brow in the color Taupe. And this is like so much better than Anastasia Beverly Hills one. And it's also half the price and lasts a lot longer. It has so much more product in here. And I just kind of run over the natural shape of my brow. Like so. Yes, one of my eyebrows is higher than the other one. We know it's a thing. 
and I, you know, I just accepted it. What can you do? And I'll just take the spoolie at the end of it and just kind of brush it out so nothing's harsh. And that's it! You have successfully catfished the shit out of people. Hey you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As I said in the beginning, don't forget to hit that thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Turn your push notifications on so you get notified whenever I make another video like this. And if you guys do like these makeup videos, please comment down below. So I love you guys with all my heart and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.